say to people, like the people in Indiana, I said, they said the guy who's like prosecuting for these people is dumb. I said, well, get his boss, get his supervisor, get somebody up here who's smart. I only want to go against the best of the best of the best that they got. Because when they see that I'm beating the best of the best of the best they got, they will back off immediately. They said, hey, I'm the best you got. And this guy just made me look like a monkey. I'm a monkey, guys. I'm, I'm out of here. So when they see the best guy, when they see the best guy bailing out, nobody else is going to even think about taking up the fight against me. Like I said, they had nine judges go up against me with the one child. One child. And it was just, that's all I kept concentrating on was one child, not two children, not three children, just four, not just one child. I was making such hell for them for one child that they had to go through nine judges. One judge retired. I was making their life holy hell because I was making it very simple. All I wanted was the piece of paper. Where's the original charging instrument? Where is it? Oh, we don't have it. Well, then where's the contract? Well, we don't have that either. No, no, no. You've got to give me one or the other. There's only two ways you can move this. i got to be charged or there's got to be a contract. Produce one or the other. After seven years, I finally got the other side to say it's based on a contract. There is no charges. I said, oh, so we hired, me and my wife hired, went to 17 attorneys because you told us we were charged for doing wrong. Lovely. Now you're finally telling us that it's been all bullshit for all these years. Me and my wife never did it wrong. It's all been based on a contract. Can I see the contract? And then I explained to you guys how I had to go through the appellate process just to get a copy of the contract. And how the judge helped me get a copy of the contract. Because he said in open court, I got the I got the transcript of him saying, I don't see it, Carl. I've never seen a copy of this contract. I have no idea where it is. I said, well, then since you have no idea where it is, uh, and I know I have no idea what it is, I said, why can't we just overrule this guy and just say, hey, you know what, so you produce the contract, there's a, uh, you know, the court doesn't believe you. And he said, it doesn't work like that because you're dealing with an agency. And I said, yeah, I know rules of agency. Preponderance of evidence is 51% on that because the agency is a non-human, non-feeling, non-breathing entity. There'd be no reason for the state to lie. Yeah, I know. Believe me, I read this silly shit. Like there would be no reason for the judge to lie. I see, I don't know, because you guys wrote that damn code. <laughs> Judges don't lie. Lawyers don't lie. Agencies don't lie. States don't lie. I said, yeah, I know. I said, I read the silly nonsense. I got to get this over to a court of man. I got to get this over to a court of bracket. I got to get this over the common law. I got to get out of this crazy court that you guys got me in. But see, they knew, they knew there was no way I could make a claim until they gave me the charge for the contract. I couldn't make a claim. 